Hello and welcome everyone, I'm John RMS, otherwise known as Ace Bullion, and today we have a pretty much an AppMax exclusive. That's right, I got my fine bit of gold, squishy, squishy, squishy here, but no, that's not the item we're going to be featuring. In fact, it's going to be this, this round, and as you can see from the titles, it is the new John Wick's coin or round. Well, if you're a little bit confused, you're perplexed, well, don't worry. I'll explain it all. Anyway, be sure to check out the links down below. Uh, we can find a link to Silver Trader, Ace Bullion, and of course, the Precious Metal Forum. And finally, if you're not subscribed, please do so. Hit that notification bell, like, share, and well, thank you. And let's crack on. All right, so the Continental Hotel has kindly given host to me today and sent me in one of these. Well, not really. It was a silver trader who sent me in one of these. And if you don't know what I'm talking about with the Continental Hotel, well, then you probably don't really know what this coin is all about. And of course, well, this is about a movie. Yeah, so it's another movie related or themed uh, coin. Now, I'm going to call it a coin only for uh, the purposes of the movie. I'm not calling it a coin because it has zero denominations. In fact, in all actuality, this is a round. Now, as we're going to take a look here, we can clearly see some really cool stuff going on. Um, and we have a Latin phrase about this lion, which is, well, it translates loosely to something generated within itself. And we have down below the um, Roman numerals, MMI, which is the year 2001. Now, the John Wick film kind of franchise, because I believe they're on, num they're on number three at least, have been released for movie-wise. Uh, I think number four is due out this year. I have not personally watched it. Yes, I know. I'm sorry, everyone. I haven't watched it. At least not to my recollection. Or I'm not going to tell you. But there you go. Um... Because, well, you know, <laughs> without rules, we live like animals, right? <laughs> Someone will get that. So we have a lion and a crest here. And, well, on first glance, this does look a lot like the, you know, coins as they're portrayed in gold um, that are used uh, uh, in the movies. Although, there's one noticeable difference that I spotted straight away with this. And, of course... It has this milled reeded edge. Now, on the coins, tokens, or whatever you want to call it, uh, in the criminal underground world, um, these were used for everything from, you know, hey, getting, you know, a ride to having, you know, to being able to purchase guns, knives, suits, drinks, you name it. It was pretty much there, uh, including, you know, medical attention and so on and so forth. Uh, anyway, so this is... Uh, brought by the Queensland Mint, which, as I said earlier, I'm pretty sure it's through Atmax as an exclusive. Now, the coin itself is, well, rather, I don't know how to put it. it, it it's it's a movie coin. So, well, this is a movie round, okay? Um, and it is one ounce, three nines fine silver. And as we're going to flip it over, as I said, we have a milled and reeded edge here. And then we have... The reverse, now we can see on the bottom at least, we have something to reference it by. We do have one ounce silver. Let's try to get that into focus. It's really difficult because of those um, lines going across. Uh, but we do have one ounce silver, 999, fine. And then of course we have on the back here, uh, a lovely lady holding onto a shield with a sword right in front. And again, we have a Latin phrase right here up above, um, which overall means um, out of unity uh, comes strength. So you can see here the laurels going around, um, which is, well, rather kind of Roman, if you like. Uh, and in the movie, these were uh, made just for the criminal enterprise so it was 
you know, essentially the currency criminals use. They didn't carry their own cash. Uh, they didn't carry anything else. If they wanted anything, they paid for them in gold coins. Now, I do understand as well that these are made in gold as well uh, as silver. And there was um, one scene that I was able to find that there was some silver being used. So I'm not quite sure how that plays overall. You movie fans, let me know where and when that was used and if it was phased out with the second edition of the new coin, which is what we're seeing here on this design. Um, and, you know, overall, from a movie prop to a production of a bullion piece here, well, which, of course, those were bullion pieces, um, you know, it is a very good likeness. Now, those of you who haven't seen the movie, really, this is going over your head, and I completely understand at the end of the day, we're looking at a picture of, you know, a woman here. And, you know, that is really about it. I mean, it is simplistic. It is nice. And as a round goes, you know, it's not bad at all. But it has that added bonus of, and of course, you got the lion here with kind of the infinite sun. And, you know, it, it really is just amazing. But... It is also just plain. Now, you don't see a lot of this being used um, in the movies. More so, what you're going to see is you're going to see stacks of these things, you know, in gold, in a big line. You know how it is. Pretty much tube, but without tubes um, of gold. And, of course, people were, um, you know, just exchanging them, giving them as tips, and so on and so forth. Anyway without being uh, into the movie itself. As I said, it is rather plain, but it is kind of cool at the same time, you know? So this is kind of the hardened criminals, well, essentially assassins uh, token. Now, I do understand that there are some issues with production on these, yeah. And I don't think, you know, the Don, not really the Don, but you know what I mean? would be happy with the quality that's produced because, well, you know, it has to be perfect. Now, I haven't personally seen anything on this uh, token at all or this uh, round, um, but, you know, uh, be aware, of course, it's through Atmex, and I'm sure my friends will know who are in America expect Atmex quality. In fact, actually expect a little bit better than Atmex quality because I haven't found a huge amount of issues nothing alarming that says, oh my God, I can just point at it and stare out. In fact, we're gonna zoom in and have a good look at it and see. So I don't see any imperfections. I am going around it and having a look at it. The line itself looks, actually is it, you know, it's average, it's, it's, it's nice. It has some features. Uh, but it is overall just kind of average. There's not really a ton of detailing that's gone into it. Poor guy. I think he deserves a little bit more TLC. Because uh, they kind of started working on here and then said, Ooh, it's lunchtime and we'll throw in a body. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's true. It's how I feel. I'm not going to lie to you guys. And on the, uh, the back here or front, whatever way you want to call this really. Obverse, reverse, you know, left, right, you pick. You know, I don't see any quality control issues at all. Uh, again, you know, the woman itself in this uh, with the laurels and everything else, the sword, the shield, it looks okay. I, I mean, that's all I'm going to say. It just looks okay. Now, bear in mind that in the UK here, uh, the premium, and I, I, you, you know I don't talk about coin prices, but the premium for this actually is relatively low, so it's not a huge um, or expensive piece. In fact, it's one of the cheaper budget, uh, you know, pieces of bullion that you can buy at the moment. Now, when I was taking a look at Atmex, it actually has for the American market, well, a significant kind of markup, especially for something that is just essentially a round. Um, but you know, I could clearly see the attraction to have a gold one, especially if you're a fan, um, you know, why not have a stack or a tube of gold, um, and, uh, there you go. You can start hiring out your own hitman and, uh, you know, paying for your drinks that way. I'll never complain about paying again for petrol. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so there we go. Now, 
Let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts and opinions are. And, you know, if I missed out anything for you movie buffs, uh, let me know as well. Uh, as I said, I have not seen all of them. Uh, I may have seen bits of one, maybe two. I, I really, I can't remember. So I'm not trying to lie about that. Um, but essentially, you know, let me know. Leave a remark down below, and if you haven't seen the film, leave a comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts and opinions are on this round. It's unique, you know. Uh, it's about time we actually don't have something with the Queen's face on it, or this government backed, uh, you know, it's something that's actually kind of nice in itself. And uh, just knowing that, you know, you have to be really hard or, you know, a right bad beep, um, you know to be passing these off in that kind of movie world well it lends yourself to a little bit of fantasy behind it anyway folks that's all i have time for this is of course a friday and i hope you guys have a fantastic weekend uh don't forget as i said check out the precious metal forum where we're going to be doing some giveaways very soon sign up make sure you have an avatar and everything else jess yeah i'm talking to you as well my dear make sure you have an avatar or you're going to miss out anyway folks I'll talk with you later. Bye for now.